Wow. Y'all see that? Wow. Talking about I got bit or something hit me while I was mowing the lawn, cutting the grass. Wow. Man. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Cut it. Here we go. Reading out loud. Proverbs chapter 18. Amen. On December 18th. 2021, according to the man-made calendar, not God's calendar, because God is out of time. We on his time. So while we on his time, we're going to read about his time while he was here. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Let's get into it. Thank you, Father, for listening to us. Thank you, Father for grabbing our attention so that we may glorify our holy God who watches over us. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you humbly, but boldly, thanking you for everything, for every blessing. Even if we didn't count it more, we know it came from above, you, the Most High, El Shaddai. Amen. Wonderful counsel. Almighty God, creator of all creation, love maker of all souls, spirit, mind, body, and connected bones moving, warming across your earth. Yes, your earth, Lord. Although the devil has his care here, he has no place memorial still do. He's a liar. Jesus Christ is the truth. And we thank you for grabbing our attention and focusing on the truth of your purpose for our life. Lord, forgive us for all the distractions that may distract us from continuing to pray this prayer. Thank you for the strength to get through. Thank you for your wisdom and knowledge. Most of all, thank you for your love and care. Because without it, we'd be a mess. We wouldn't get anywhere without your light in our dark places. Thank you for your righteousness that covers it, that covers our sins, that teaches us how to stop sinning and get it correctly. Thank you for healing us quickly, swiftly. When we call in your name, Lord, thank you for not wasting no time with us, letting, letting us know that you've been there the whole time. You never leave us nor forsake us. It's us that make the stupid move of walking away from you. Please forgive us for doing that, Lord. And I pray for my family and friends that as much as you have taught me, may you teach them as well on the level you have taught me according to their obedient, obedience to your word and your will for their life. So that every word we read and is spoken to your earth and the earth and vessel, may they be quick enough to in, be inspired to read more and draw closely, intimately, and deeply in your word even more. And may you grab all the attention so that we may go in our secret place and give you the true attention needed. So when we walk out in public, your reward is with us. And it's clear and visible to those who don't know us, but they will know you through the light you put in and the wisdom and knowledge you bestowed for us to preach and share to your world, to your earth, Lord. In Jesus' name, we thank you for the opportunity to say thank you for everything. We don't take it for granted. We love you, Lord. And if we don't, teach us how to continue to love as you loved us. First and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Good. So, here we go. Proverbs chapter 18. Hold on. Um, 
moral, common, ethical, common, and spiritual precepts parenthesis continue. Verse 1. Through desire a man, comma, having separated himself, comma, seeketh and intermeddly with all wisdom. Period. Verse 2. A fool hath no delight in understanding, comma, but that his heart may discover itself. Go back to, y'all heard all that news, right? Verse 2. A fool hath no delight in understanding, comma, but that his heart may discover itself, period. Verse 3. When the wicked cometh, comma, then cometh also contempt, comma, and with ignominy reproach period verse 4 the words of a man's mouth are as deep waters comma and the world spring of wisdom as a flowing brook period verse 5 it is not good to accept the person of the wicked comma to overthrow the righteous in judgment period verse 6 a fool's lips Enter into contention, comma, and his mouth calleth for strokes, period. Verse 7. A fool's mouth is his destruction, comma, and his lips are the snare of his soul, period. Verse 8. The words of a tailbearer are as wounds, comma, and they go down into the innermost parts of the valley, period. Verse 9, she also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is the great waster, period. Verse 10, the name of the Lord is the strong tower, calling the righteous runneth into it, comma, and is safe, period. Verse 11, the rich man's wealth is his strong city, comma, and as a high wall in his own conceit, period. Verse 12, before destruction, the heart of man is hearty, semicolon, and before honor is humility, period. Verse 13, he that answereth a matter before he hears it, comma, it is folly and shame unto him, period. Verse 14, the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, semicolon. But a wounded spirit, who can bear? Question mark. Verse 15. The heart of the prudent getteth knowledge, semicolon. And the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge, period. Verse 16. A man's gift maketh room for him, comma, and bringeth him before great men. Period. Verse 17. He that is first in his own cause seemeth just. Semicolon. But his neighbor cometh and searcheth him. Period. Verse 18. The law causeth contention to cease, comma, and parteth between the mighty. Period. Verse 19. A brother offended is harder to be one than a strong city, Curly, and their contentions are like the bars of a castle, period. Verse 20, a man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, semicolon, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled, period. Verse 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue, colon, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Period. Verse 22. Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing, comma, and obtaineth favor of the Lord. Period. Verse 23. The poor useth entreaty, colon, but the rich answereth Roughly, period. Verse 24. A man that hath friends 
must show himself friendly, Colin. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother, period. That is the end of Proverbs chapter 18 on December 18, 2021. I pray y'all are healed, and if you're not, go back and reread so you can get healed, get wisdom, get knowledge, get it in there so you can put the gun down, pick the Bible up, keep flying there. Don't look down, okay? Because there ain't nothing down there for us, you know. I was watching the news on the uh, phone yesterday from YouTube or whatever. And right in the area I'm in or surrounded by, uh, a couple of men decided to uh, break out in the fight. And one of them pulled out some guns and shot a woman in the midst of it. So now y'all out here. Stay, I say stop committing violence. Stay put the guns down. Y'all not listening, bro. That's not good. That's not good at all. So I pray for that family that they are comforted, strengthened to look forward to what God has for them. Since another woman, another beautiful life giver lost her life because men acting stupid out here, not paying attention to what they doing because they, they got too much pride and ego and they not humbling themselves in front of their creator. Come on, man. You got children watching too, man. You're not gangster, bro. Nowhere near that, man. You better get in the word and humble yourself and make yourself apply the word of God to your life, man. Cause, cause God is merciful, but at some point, your mercy gets ran out when you keep being evil and wicked and don't repent. So please, if you take anything out of this video, Repent. Get on your knees and repent. And ask for forgiveness. Because I'm pretty sure that family ready to add more violence. I pray they don't. In Jesus' name. Love y'all, please. Get along. No fighting. God first. Glory be to God. I pray the Holy Spirit get in there and do its work. So you can put these guns down, weapons of mass destruction. Because if you really want war, oh, God's wrath will give you that. And you're not going to be ready. You know? Not. Amen. Peace. And another one. Peace. One love and peace.